your mouths. Guys, I'd love to say I'm so ecstatic to be here in Liverpool, but I would be fucking lying. This place is an absolute shithole. I'm just being honest, I'm just being honest. So here's the deal. Don't say CM Punk's name or I'll knock your fucking teeth down your throat. Uh, CM Punk, the guy I beat twice in Chicago, CM Punk, that's CM Punk. So here's the deal, before I do all the uh, photos over there with all the mouth-breathing fat boys, they told me I got 15 minutes prior, so we're gonna do a cute little Q&A. So who's got some questions, roll them to the J to the F. Okay. I'll take that guy over there that's pretending he won a belt. <laughs> um, best shot. I can see we're clearly running a tight ship here. <laughs> Say it with your chest, I can't hear a word you're fucking... Okay. Why is that a woman? Why am I scared of Wardlow? It's a very interesting question. I think the real question is, why is Wardlow so scared of me? Because he keeps running away and hiding behind all his security members. I mean, I, no, am I wrong? He's constantly hiding behind his security. It's really that simple. Wardlow's a complete chicken shit pig. Does anybody have a real question during this MJF q and You spastically raising your hand in the back. Please. Am I what? Ask your mom, bro. <laughs> anybody have an actual intelligent question where you might learn something? Are you just gonna do another dumb insult where I'm gonna have to literally bury you verbally with ease? Or are you gonna ask a real question? You cockney twat? Are you gonna ask me a real question? I don't know what Scouse is. I'm from Long Island. Go, question. Do you see yourself in WWE? Can you repeat that? I couldn't understand your accent. Do you see yourself in WWE? Do I see myself in WWE? It's an interesting question. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but on January 1st of 2024, I'm going to be a free agent. Who here would want to see me in WWE? So, let me explain something to you people. I did not get into this business to make any of you happy. I got into this business to make as much money as humanly possible. And if Vincent Kenny McMahon is willing to shill out more money than my good friend Tony Khan, then yes, I would go to WWE. That was a very good question. Does anybody else have an intelligent question? Macho Man, what do you got? Oh yeah. No, no, next, no. I'm out. I'm out. You, scrawny bald man. Make room for the ginger, guys. He's got to put the mic up to his mouth. A what? I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, anybody have an intelligent question? You, blondie, in the back. Fat ginger man, run! <laughs> run, you soulless prick! That's funny because at only 26 years old, I'm the biggest minute for minute rating draw in all of AEW. So I was able to do that in. What, half the time he was? When he was what? At 26, what was Chris Jericho doing? 
Uh, that's right, jack shit. Um, anybody? Four eyes with the the hat. What is that? A Detroit hat? It's a what? A MAGA hat? What are you saying? I can't. God damn it! You guys sound so fucking weird. I mean, I, all right, go. What are you going to say besides the AEW title? Ooh. It's a very good question. Well, let's talk about it, right? So first I wrestled John Moxley for the AEW world title, and he used an illegal maneuver called the Paradigm Shift, which was not allowed in the matchup, to defeat me behind the referee's back, which means I should already be the AEW world champion. And then I was moving up in the rankings yet again to get a title shot after I beat CM Punk twice in Chicago, and then we had a dog collar match.